Today we're going to go over your unit three, part two, test review, which is equations of lines. So it starts off with all of your formulas. The slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Your slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Remember that m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Standard form is ax plus by is equal to c. You don't actually have to put anything in standard form. You usually have to move it from standard form to slope-intercept form and so forth. Point-slope form is y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. We use point-slope form. Anytime you're given the point and a slope or two points, you find the slope from those two points, and then you plug it in. Slopes of parallel lines have the same slope. And then slopes of perpendicular lines have the negative reciprocal. All right, so first we need to state whether these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we're going to have to use a slope formula. So the slope of AB, we're going to do x2, y2, x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1. And remember, it's y2 minus y1, so 5 minus 4 over x2 minus x1, so negative 11 minus negative 8. 5 minus 4 is 1, negative 11 minus a negative is plus, and then negative 11 plus 8 is negative, the 1 is still on top, and the bottom is 3, so negative 1 third. Then the slope for CD you have y2 minus y1, so negative 7 minus negative 4. And then x2 minus x1, so 8 minus negative 1, which is negative 7 plus 4 over 8 plus 1, because the minus and negative, they turn into pluses. Negative 7 minus 4 is negative 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. 3 goes into both of these which means you get negative one-third. So negative one-third. Because they are the same slope, these are parallel. All right, we have x2, y2, x1, y1, x2, y2, x1, y1. So the slope of a, b, y2 is 8 minus y1 is 15. x2 is negative 3 minus x1 is 1. x, I'm sorry, 8 minus 15 is negative 7. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And negative and negative make it a positive. Then we have the slope of cd y2 is negative 9 minus y1 is negative 5. x2 is 10 minus x1 is 3. Uh, minus a negative is always going to be plus. Negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. 10 minus 3 is 7, which gives us negative 4 over 7. So negative 4 over 7 is the negative, because the original was positive and now it's negative. Reciprocal, it's flipped, which makes it perpendicular. All right, then we have our last one. So A, B. My y2 is negative 3 minus my y1, which is 4. My x2 is 9 minus my x1, which is 9. Negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. 9 minus 9 is 0. When that happens, this is an undefined slope. 
You cannot have zero in the denominator. That can't happen. You can't have negative seven of something that doesn't exist. CD, oh, this is undefined. And CD, Y2 is 10 minus Y1 is 6. X2 is negative 2 minus X1, which is negative 2. Minus a negative is plus. 10 minus 6 is 4. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And that is, again, undefined. So because they do have the same slope, they will both be vertical lines. They are parallel. Now, if one of them had a zero slope, they would have been perpendicular. So undefined and zero are perpendicular to each other. So we have to determine if these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. But we have to solve for y first. So we always move r6 to the other side first. I'm sorry, not r6, rx to the other side first. You can't combine a constant with a variable. Then we need to divide 10 from everything to make that go away. Y is equal to negative six over 10 can be reduced to negative three fifths. I just split it in half. Half of six is three, half of 10 is five. Plus 20 divided by 10 is two. Now this other one, we need to move our x over to the other side. That's always the first thing you do. And you cannot combine the x with your constant. Divide both sides by what's with your y. That gives us y is equal to, this is a positive 5 thirds. Two negatives make a positive, minus 7. So our Slopes are negative 3 fifths, and then positive 5 over 3, they are negative reciprocals, which means they are perpendicular. Move your x over first, always. You cannot combine your constant with your variable, so write them next to each other. And then this is a negative y, we need to get rid of that, so we divide everything by negative 1 which really just means we change the signs of everything. And then this one, move our x over to the other side. That's negative x plus 9. So we have a positive 1. I know it's not there, but there is a positive 1 there. And a negative 1, which are negative reciprocals. So they are perpendicular. All right, subtract x from both sides. Bring down your y, your constant, and your variable cannot be combined, so you write them next to each other. Divide by both sides by everything with your y. So y is equal to negative and negative is a positive one fifth. 30 divided by negative 5 is negative 6. On this one, my x is already on the other side, so we need to divide everything by what's with your y. And y is equal to 2 over 10 reduced to 1 fifth. And 90 divided by 10 is 9. Both of my slopes are 1 fifth, making this parallel. Both of these have undefined slopes, but because they are both the same, they are also parallel. Oops. Write a linear equation through this point with that slope. So this is my m, this is my x1 and my y1, and we use point-slope form. So whenever I plug it in, it's y minus 1 is equal to 1 half x minus negative 6. Sorry, that does not look right. There we go. So y minus 1 equals 1 half x plus 6. Distribute the 1 half. So that's 1 half x 
plus 3. And then I need to add 1 over to the other side, which means I end up with y equals 1 half x plus 4. All right, this one we are not given a slope, so I'm going to have to find my slope first. So we're going to make this x1, y1, x2, y2. My slopes, I subtract my y's on top, so 1 minus 6, and my x is on bottom, 3 minus negative 2. 3 minus a negative 2 is the same thing as plus. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. 3 plus 2 is 5, which gives me negative 1 for my slope. All right, so now I plug it in. My y1 is 1. My slope is negative 1. And then my x1 is 3. I distribute my negative 1, which makes negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. And then I need to add 1 to both sides, which makes my final answer y is equal to negative x plus 4. So we need a parallel equation. This is the slope to that equation, which means my parallel slope would still be 3. This is my x1 and my y1. So y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1, y minus negative 13 is equal to 3, and x minus negative 4. It's always minuses, so whenever there's negatives there, you're going to minus a negative, which means that they do become pluses like that. Then distribute your 3. 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 4 is 12, subtract 13 from both sides, and y is equal to 3x minus 1. Perpendicular, so this is my slope, which means my perpendicular slope would be the negative reciprocal. This one is negative, so my perpendicular slope would be positive. This is the same thing as 4 over 1, so when I flip it, it's 1 over 4. This is x1, y1, y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1, y minus, my y1 is 10, is equal to, my slope is 1 fourth, and then x minus my x1 is 4. Distribute your 1 fourth, we get 1 fourth x, and 1 fourth times 4, so 1 fourth times a negative 4 over 1. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. Then add 10 to both sides. y is equal to 1 fourth x plus 9. This one's another perpendicular, but we don't know what our slope is. We need to solve for y on this problem. So negative 5y is equal to, you cannot combine your variable and your constant. And then you divide by everything, divide everything by what's with your y. So you end up with y is equal to, negative and negative is a positive 2 fifths. And positive 5 divided by negative 5 is a negative 1. So this is my current slope. My perpendicular slope would be the negative, so this is positive, meaning I make it negative. And then two-fifths flipped around is five halves. This is my x1. This is my y1. All right, so it's y minus negative 9 is equal to negative five halves x minus 2. Of course, this becomes a plus. Distribute your negative 5 halves. Negative and negative is a positive, but we have 5 halves times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 
Then we subtract 9 from both sides. And y is equal to negative 5 halves x minus 4. And that is the end of your test review.